Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. So this is leg three of our East Coast adventure. Uh, I set off from the Sunshine Coast yesterday and uh, started heading south. Currently at Blatherarm uh, Camping Grounds. Beautiful campground. Little stream just down the side. It's, it's been beautiful. Kangaroos, nice and quiet. Yeah, I've also got some picnic tables, uh, fire pits and some fresh water. It needs to be boiled or treated before it's drunk, but uh, pretty good facilities. It is a national park campground. So $6 booking fee per person per night, uh, but well worth it. Okay. Hmm. So on the cards this morning, we're gonna have a coffee and a little bit of breakfast, and then we're gonna go for a six kilometer round trip hike. Yeah, it's gonna be good to stretch the legs. We did have a little bit more excitement on the drive down than we'd planned. Uh, I was behind a ute and a caravan and uh, they started to get the death wobbles up. So I started the GoPro on my dash and um, yeah, it was wild. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so he lost control of the wobbles um, off the road, on the road, off the road, and then the caravan overtook the ute and then the back of the ute ended up high in the air and the caravan upside down. So we stopped, pulled over, checked on the guy. He was all, he was all good, nothing, no injuries, nothing. So we, we hung around, managed traffic um, until some good pilots rocked up. Yeah, on their way home from a job. A job and they started looking after traffic and they had their flashing lights and everything. So we left them be and headed on our way. Yeah, and then uh, from here, so uh, once we've packed up and done our hike, we're going to head down to the Barrington Tops, and we've got two nights down there. Absolutely stoked. Yeah, looking forward to a couple of small days of driving and some exploring around the Barrington Tops. It's yep. pretty exciting. Should be a good one. Make sure you stay tuned. So we've finished packing up, and we're, we're about to hit the road, and Paul wanted to check his two-way cables because um, it's been a bit scratchy and I thought I'll have a look under my bonnet and do some checks while he does that. And it looks like the intercooler is leaking. It's a bit of oil built up down there. Did just top up the coolant as well, which has been dropping pretty fast. I'm not sure if that's maybe related. Yeah, might need to get a new intercooler at some stage. Has been a bit low on power. I just sort of put it down to the bigger tyres. Uh, and the fact that my gear ratios are a little bit out now. But it could be from this leak. Well, we'll put the Hilux back together and we are on the walking trail. Ugly corner falls. I'm sure it's not that ugly. Should have mentioned earlier, we are in the Torrington State Conservation Area. Pretty cracking little spot. It was a bit warmer, definitely go for a swim. Oh, climbed up to the top bit of the waterfall, well, halfway of it. The bottom part of the waterfall, next to the little swimming pool. Go right up into that crevice, awesome. Water's pretty cold, but.
then we made it. It's a short little hike, but it's all the way downhill, the way down and all the way uphill and the way up. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Not too long. No. But lots of exploring to be done around the rocks and waterfalls, uh, especially when the water's low, you can get mm. down there, so. Take a towel with you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Good for a dip. Definitely. All right, we're gonna hit the road towards Barrington Tops and hope that my engine doesn't blow up. Ah, you're up. Well, welcome to Armadale Showground. The astute amongst you will notice that this is not the Barrington Tops. Got some concerns about the Hilux. Yeah, some time between Glen Innes and Armadale um, one of the big hills, my temperature gauge went much higher than it ever has before and um, poured over, had a look at it. The intercooler continues to leak oil and so as a result we decided to stay the night in Armadale. We've got in contact with Armadale Toyota who are getting one sent up from Sydney overnight. But we're gonna crack it now and have a look at it and see if we can work out what the problem is. I've already paid for it. So hopefully that's it. But um, yeah. Knots, Barrington Tops. Still quite nice. Uh, I don't think we've ever stayed at showgrounds before. Yeah. Yep, 25 bucks a night. 30 if you want a powered site. We didn't, but um, Good amenities. We've parked away from all the grey nomads on the other side. The main reason we parked away from the grey nomads is because I don't want 20 old dudes over here telling me how to do my job. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You there? all right there, young fella? What are you doing that for? I wouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> all done and was surprisingly painless. So just after 10, should be back on the road shortly. Barrington Tops take two. Cars are a bit muddy. Yummy. Well, we only bloody made it. <laughs> Day late, but we made it. Yep. We are uh, pulled up at Little Murray Campground. How would you describe the drive-in? Oh, it's epic. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so windy. And just kept climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. I'm like, damn, we're going high. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the last time I came up this way was about 15 years ago and I had an old converted uh, Mazda van, like 89, and I did the head gasket on the way up here. So I was like, well, I'll turn around and go back and then I cooked the brakes on the way down. So given the issues that we've had with the Hilux over the last 24 hours, it's nice to make it and have no cooling issues. We're gonna, we're still gonna spend 48 hours here. Uh, it would just been a slightly bigger day getting to Canberra um, on Sunday. I think it's currently Friday. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're gonna set up camp and uh, hopefully have a chance to do a bit of exploring. It is meant to stay wet for a little while, but we'll make the most of it and Although we're pretty much up in the clouds at the moment, there's not many views. Hopefully they clear and we can show you some of what Barrington Tops has to offer. All right, here we're gonna get set up.
Well, good morning from Little Murray Campgrounds. Been a beautiful little spot, nice big grassed area, plenty of wildlife and feral horses around. Yeah, treated to uh, the feral horses coming for a little trot through the campground this morning, mm. having a little play and rolling around the grass. Mm. Although they're probably pests, still pretty cute. Yeah. That's well, it's the first for me seeing horses in the wild, so they're just over there watching us. Uh, if you do come here, there's like a massive, massive open green grassy area. But if you just keep going like another 50 metres down the track, on the left there's a big single campsite. Um, it's nice and secluded and away from people, so we probably would have stayed there if we knew it was there. But hot tip for anyone that comes and visits. What are you doing today? Oh, the sun's finally come out. It's <laughs> covered in smashed with glare here. Today, um, we're going to go for a bit of an explore around. Um, possibly go to a waterfall and do some little hikes. Yeah, so the plan is to sort of trek south in the National Park and head down towards uh, Ladies Well. There's a whole bunch of free camps down there. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually get through because... Uh, my old HEMA book says that it's a walking track down there. Google says that you can drive through. But about half a dozen cars have kept going south on this track and every single one of them's turned around. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, they haven't gone for very long, so it's worth just going for a bit of a drive. And... Yep, we're going to go for an explore, see what we find. And if we can't get through there, not massively keen to climb down the mountain range and then climb back up it again from the south. So we might go find a spot um, a little bit further north and see how we go. Cool. Be a bit of fun. It's time to head down and go explore. Yo. So, as suspected, no joy going south from Little Murray. Trails closed ahead. Uh, so, we just had a look at the HEMA and trying to work out some other ways that we can maybe get through. And if we can't, we'll just hang to the north. Still plenty to see around here. Definitely. We're here for doing adventuring. Yeah. So we're just cruising down the Barrington Trail at the moment. It's pretty cool. A lot of ferns around. Nice steep winding tracks. Nothing too crazy. We're just first gear, high range, just ticking along. Enjoying the drive, windows down, my coffee, at 11. So we've just driven to the end of the Barrington track. Barrington Trail. Barrington Trail, sorry. And we're now at the Barrington River. So we've just parked up at the camp, at the park, parking bay. Junction Pools Campground. Junction Pools Campground. And now we're going to check out the river. Summer. Actual summer, where it's hot, not freezing. <laughs> I did have to point out it is summer. Doesn't feel like it. So it doesn't look like there's any obvious way to get down to the south of the park from where we are now, Junction Pools. There might be some gnarly back side tracks, but there's also a lot of closed, locked gates. So, plan from here is to go back up to the north and check out some of the spots up there. So, Gummy Falls, where we were meant to stay on the first night before we um, had to stop in Armadale. And some of the lookouts up there. We should actually be able to see the mountains. Yeah, this is our last day here. Do a bit, bit more exploring around. 
have a look before we have to track it south. Yep, tomorrow's going to be a big day driving, so I'll make the most of today. Hmm. So that's what we're going to do now. Well, good afternoon from our final campsite of this leg of the trip, Dilgri River. Really nice little spot. So the original campsite which we booked, it's only a dry weather track to get to it, so it's shut. The road's shut to it. Yeah, we probably should have paid attention to the HEMA, which did say dry weather only. Um, you but think you couldn't book it if it's... Sure. If the track's closed, that would be super helpful. Um, but anyway, this spot's really, really nice. We're right next to the river. And honestly, it looks like tropical North Queensland. The scenery, all the ferns and shit. We've got a little fire pit down here. Might cook up some nachos on the fire for dinner make the most of it. It's a bit of a novelty having fires in summer for us. So yeah, we're going to get set up. Good morning, how are y'all? <laughs> well, we're up nice and early on the road to start the trek to Canberra. This will be the last little stop for this episode. So yeah, we're going up to the Thunderbolt lookout. It's just a quick little drive from camp. It's a snappy little walk at the lookout. And overnight, all the clouds cleared, so we should have some epic views for you based on the photos that I've seen. So our last two days have been overcast the whole day. So we've kind of skipped it. Yeah. Primo now. See what we got. Well, that's where we're going to leave this episode and start heading to Canberra. Unfortunately, we couldn't get through to a lot of the places that we'd hoped to uh, just because of the weather that we've had and a bunch of tracks being closed. But that just means that we've got more to check out when we do our lap. Hope you've all enjoyed watching and we'll see you in the next one. When we'll be tackling the Vic High Country.
we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. It's time for a bit of mountain goat parkour. It's getting a bit bright out here. Sun's out as I'm gonna liken this. I'm gonna go back into our mole life, back underground. 